We check in now on the latest cattle market news with our market update, brought to you by Cattle Facts. Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Update. Continuing losses in the cattle feeding and beef packing segments have led to a focus on wholesale box beef prices over the last few weeks. The recent weekly USDA composite box beef price is nearly steady with year-ago prices at $185.30 per hundredweight. Fed cattle cash market prices are also nearly identical to year-ago levels, around $123. And packers and feed yards are operating at a $50 to $100 per head loss on a cash-to-cash -cash basis. The negative margins are affecting calf and feeder cattle market prices as weaker deferred live cattle futures and higher corn futures prices weaken demand. One remedy to the current economics facing the supply sector is additional wholesale beef demand and higher cutout prices. Seasonally, the cutout trades in a mostly steady pattern through the first six weeks of the year before making a seasonal rally into the late winter or early spring. However, a deeper look into the primal values in production suggests it could be a slow developing rally for wholesale beef prices. Rib and chuck cuts are the only primals providing higher year-over-year -year values for the beef complex, while round and thin meat cuts struggle to improve. Part of this is due to lagging sales to key export markets. Another contributing factor is slowly developing domestic demand for end meats this winter. Production is also weighing on the market. Fed steer and heifer beef production is up 1.6% due to nearly steady slaughter and an 18-pound increase in carcass weights. And USDA prime and upper two-thirds choice grading is also running higher than a year ago. An increase in wholesale beef values and potentially better profitability in the supply sector will be needed to come from significantly larger supply reductions or demand improvement. Current fundamentals suggest that neither of these situations are likely in the short term, leading to a potentially underperforming beef market over the next few weeks. For the Angus Report and Cattle Facts, I'm Lance Zimmerman. To learn more about Cattle Facts, your leading source for beef industry market information, visit cattlefacts.com.